Mute, mute, mute. Aha! My beer was trying to hide. Just that up a little. Welcome to my humble abode. Ben's around here somewhere. Come here and say hi to the folks at home. Say hi. Hey, hey. You just had a, a steak, beef shank. And I seen you bury the bone, and I know where it's buried. Now I'm going to dig it up after you go to bed. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so this is Monday, I think the 13th, yeah, of April. I'm going to open up a package for you. Who knows, this may never see the light of day. This is from Rod Loesch in St. Albert, Alberta, which I think is kind of like a suburb of uh, Calgary, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I sent him out some stuff. And he uh, replied with uh, some stuff. I'm gonna be careful opening up this one, just in case there's liquids in it. You did a really good job of uh, wrapping this up, Rod. Or did your, your missus do this? Watch your nose, Ben. I cut it off and feed it to the cats. No, oh, it's a Christmas present. Top and top. Not too sure why. I only noticed that top after I shook the hell out of it at the post office. Wondering what might be in it. Now, ah, see if this comes off. Oh. Oh, something's well packed. Maybe in a letter, too. Excellent packing job, and no, I didn't get a soggy package and two bottles broken. Limited edition Thresher Wheat Lager, 5% Brewmasters Limited. Warm prairie air, tickled by a unique squint of sunshine. That lends a rapturous glow to our fields of barley it has produced something truly immaculate. Caramelized wheat malt invites a clap of toasty autumn flavor into every puckish bubble of this distinctly homespun prairie lager. Is it just me or does that sound dirty? A clap? Rapturous? Puckish bubble? And it's made by Big Rock Beer, which actually you can get some Big Rock around here, I think. Nothing like this, though. Thank you very much, Rod. Big Rock Breweries. Did I show you a close-up of that? I don't know whether I did or not, so I better do it. Big Rock. And this is... Big Rock Brewery Scottish Style Heavy Ale, seven percent. Ooh, I guess it's heavy. It's kind of like a bit of tartan on the label. That's what makes it Scottish. <laughs> Mellow isn't yellow; it's dark bronze. This beer goes well with wingback chairs, oak bookcases, and old friends. I don't have any oak bookcases. I got sawdust. Oh. Bookcases. If you ever find yourself in such a place but feel there's something missing, it's a glass of Scottish style heavy. Our unique approach to authentic Scottish ale ages it slowly on oak, or hints of vanilla and peat. A low, 
I, I like oak aroma and flavor. While our preparatory malts add caramel and toffee tones. Is your mouth ready for a warm velvet hug? I don't know what it is. It's just me. Does that sound dirty? Scottish style heavy. I think that's Big Margaret in uh, <laughs> Glasgow. <laughs> uh, I just made that up. For all you Margarets that may be watching from Glasgow, I just made that up. I don't know any of you. But I bet you there's some big markets out there. <laughs> Are you in a approach to thinning Scottish ale? Yeah. Slowly and hope, yeah. Is your mouth ready for a warm velvet hug? Oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> so they'll go in the fridge and they'll be ready for this Friday. And I think I might uh, have some of it. Hmm? This is nice felty stuff here. There. It's white felt stuff. Save this box for recycling, as I want to do. Yeah, the letter says, well, I said I was going to do this a while ago, and now finally got around to it. Anyways, I hope what you received are two bottles of beer, rather than a soggy cardboard box with broken glass. Beer comes from a brewery down in Calgary, Big Rock. Big Rock is well known in Alberta and produces some fine beer. So, sir, for your enjoyment, take care, Rod, in St. Albert. Well, I guess maybe St. Albert isn't. Maybe not a suburb of Calgary, but it sounds like it's north of it. Anyway, thank you very much, Rob. Uh, other than that, things are going well here. I have nothing planned all week. Uh, I should really get out because I haven't yet and tried some maple syrup, maple sap collecting. I just don't feel like lugging a bucket around uh, the three feet of snow that's still out there. Even though a lot went down uh, the last three days. I got up to 12, I think, here today. It, well, I said it was. So, for all of you out there, and hello, Australia, Frank and Australia, Chris, out.